What's up guys? So today I'm going to be showcasing all of my jerseys. This is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. There's a lot of jerseys here to show. So I'll only be talking briefly about each one for the interest of time. I'm also going to be putting chapters in the progress bar of the video. So if you want to like skip to a certain team, then go ahead and do it. But yeah, guys, this is all of my jersey uh, collection and it's a lot. So let's get into it. Starting with the A's, we have this Ricky Henderson white pullover jersey. I love this one. Uh, I believe it's Mitchell and Ness. It's a 35 Henderson. So that's the first one. Very cool. Next, I have this early 2000s Mark Ellis black jersey stadium giveaway. I like this era of A's jerseys. Really cool um, stadium giveaway jersey. Following that, I have this A's. Raleigh Fingers jersey, still have the tags on it actually. This is from the MLB's 100th anniversary. So this was over 50 years ago, this jersey was worn. Raleigh Fingers 34, I like the green sleeves with the yellow jersey. Of course, they only had A and not A's on the jersey back then. So yeah, really cool. Next, I actually have another stadium giveaway jersey. This is one of the few jerseys I have that's actually a player that's still in the A's. Steven Vogt, uh, this jersey I believe was from 2016 or 2017, one of those. And it's Steven Vogt 21. It's supposed to represent one of the 80s A's jerseys. I liked it. It says Oakland on it, and I like the striping. Next, yet another stadium giveaway jersey. This is the A's gold jersey that they used to wear. Uh, you actually have a 2012 Division Champs patch on there, as well as the elephant on the other side. This is Josh Donaldson, the A's longtime third baseman. Very good player. Love that jersey. It looks nice. I still wear it, even though he's not on the team. Next, this is essentially the same thing as before, but this is a majestic flex base jersey. This is a also a 50th anniversary one. Um, really nice flex base A's jersey, last names on the back, and uh, elephant, pretty much the same thing as before. Next, I have this A's uh, road gray jersey. This is one from when the A's collaborated with rapper g Easy. So I have this, um, and you also have the g Easy patch there, but it's just the road gray. This is one of my personal favorite A's jerseys. Uh, I like the road grays and it's majestic. So that's cool too. Next, I just have a majestic home white A's jersey, sort of like the one I showed before, uh, but this one's blank. It doesn't have any player. I got this because Fanatics last year had a sale on majestic jerseys as the MLB is Nike now. So I like it. I wear this one often because it's simple and I like it. So yeah. Next, this is one of my favorite A's jerseys. This is the jersey they wore at home in the 1968 season during their first uh, season in Oakland, but they wore this for a throwback night a couple years ago in 2018 in their 50th anniversary. So I bought this at the Oakland Coliseum. As you can see, authentic, majestic. I really like this one. It's sleeveless, so you can wear like a hoodie under it and it's blank on the back. So really cool A's sleeveless jersey. Next, this is an A's jersey I got, I believe at Target when I was a kid. This is just a simple A's jersey with the logo. And then the player is Josh Reddick. Um, he was on the A's for a good amount of time outfielder and so josh reddick a's jersey haven't worn this in years but still have it so yeah next this is probably the most unique slash strange jersey in my a's collection this is the players weekend jersey uh from 2019 i didn't really like this one that much but i did get it um, i actually got this at the oakland coliseum and the player i got was nick martini he was never very good for the a's but i like the fact that he had the martini emoji for his nickname and uh, i hardly ever wear this because martini left the a's shortly after i got this but you know i honestly kind of like it and it's unique so yeah the white on white i don't really like too much though and it's a flex base majestic Next, this is a jersey I sort of regret buying. It's also a road gray A's jersey, but it's Mike Fires, A's pitcher. He got a no hitter the season I bought this, so I was excited about that. It also has the 2019 postseason patch, but we did lose in the wild card that year. But overall, I mean, it's a cool jersey. I just don't wear it much anymore. Next, yet another stadium giveaway jersey. This is the road A's jersey, but Sonny Gray. Um, they did a gray jersey because his name's Gray and uh, it was pretty clever. I like it. It was a stadium giveaway, I believe in 2015, and I remember getting this really cool jersey, but he's not on the team anymore, so I don't wear it much anymore. Next, uh, I have a white home A's jersey. This is a cool base, majestic jersey, um, a Steven Piscotti one. Like I said, one of the few jerseys of an A's player that's still on the team, but I still love Steven Piscotti. He's a great player, great guy. And so, yeah, majestic jersey. It's pretty cool. I wear this one pretty often, and I like it. So this is definitely my most worn A's jersey for obvious reasons. This is a Nike uh, A's jersey, but it's customized by me. Astros cheated 17. I got this like following the scandal in 2020 and I've worn it so much. There's signs of wear on it because I bring it on like every vacation I go to because I have to represent the scandal. And it's funny because I'm an A's fan. So I'm sort of like representing the A's, but also the Astros cheating scandal. So yeah, one of my favorites. 
Next, I have another stadium giveaway jersey. This is from 2017, I believe. This is a Ricky Henderson. Uh, it's a rare occasion where you'll see a white A's jersey with Oakland on it, but they wanted to represent the city. And uh, it was to commemorate when they changed the name of the Coliseum Field to Ricky Henderson Field. Uh, Henderson 24, this is a popular one because it was free and I see, often see a lot of people wearing it. I like it, don't wear it too much because it's a stadium giveaway jersey and I just don't wear those that much, but it's pretty cool, so yeah. Next, I have another A's jersey from when I was younger. This is the 2017 slash 2018 Players Weekend jersey. This is Steven Piscotti, um, one of my favorite players at the time. His nickname was Momo, I'm not really sure why, but it was pretty cool, I thought I liked that. And so yeah, Momo 25, and it's the simple Players Weekend jersey the A's had for those two seasons. Pretty sure this is a Walmart jersey. I don't wear this too much, but it's athletics, blank on the back, script. Um, it's not like a name brand or anything, but it's pretty cool, I guess. You have the script with the logo. So it's simple, something casually wear sometimes. This is the A's dark green alternate they wore up until the 2014 season. Uh, last name on it, and it is a cool base jersey. I really like this one. I kind of wish they'd bring it back. I really liked it, but they stopped wearing it and replaced it eventually with a different one. So yeah, I like it. it has my last name on the back and it's custom, so yeah. I believe this is the first A's jersey I ever got when I was a little kid. It's very small now. Uh, just a simple A's script, kind of similar to the one I showed earlier. And yeah, pretty simple, not much to say about it. So yeah, there you go. So this is a Mitchell and Ness Oakland A's Reggie Jackson pullover jersey. I really like this one. This is a popular one among fans. I see it a lot. And um, yeah, really cool A's. And then you have, of course, Mitchell and Ness, the supplier. And Reggie Jackson, probably one of our greatest players ever. So you got to respect that. This is when he wore number 44, but he also wore number nine and a couple other numbers. So it's cool to have that. So yeah, on the topic of Reggie Jackson, this is sort of a jersey. It's like a pullover Oakland um, and Jackson on the back. I don't know if you'd really classify this as a jersey, but I'm going to put it in here just because I want to. So I got this jersey back in 2019. They sold this on Mitchell and Ness. It's just the A pullover. Pretty classic. I like it. Kelly Green. I wear this to games sometimes. I really like this one. So yeah, Mitchell and Ness pullover. This was the A's alternate green jersey up until this year, 50th anniversary, uh, and you also have the elephant. And I really like this one. This is a flex base majestic. I believe I got this at the Oakland Coliseum back in like 2018 during the 50th anniversary season. As you can see the A's logo there. I like this one a lot. Kind of wish they still wore it, but it is what it is. There you go. Next, this is a current Kelly Green jersey of the A's, Nike, Oakland, and it's Ramon Laureano, another jersey that is a current A's player. Um, so yeah, I like this one. I got it actually fairly recently uh, from a guy on eBay, but it's Nike, Oakland, and I, it's my favorite A's jersey uh, colorway, so really cool. Next, this is pretty much the same thing as before, but this is a 50th anniversary one as well. Uh, you have Oakland 9, last name on the back. You have the 50th anniversary patch there. And uh, yeah, very cool jersey. I like this one a lot. I actually got the se this the season that they came out with this jersey. Um, it's also a flex base, so really cool A's jersey. Next, this is a stadium giveaway jersey of the Kelly Green jersey. This is a Matt Chapman one. They did the stadium giveaway of this back in 2018 when this jersey came out. So you actually do have a little uh, 50th anniversary thing there. But I like this one. It sucks Chapman's not on the team anymore because I used to wear this one a lot pretty casually because it's you know pretty cool. And for a stadium giveaway, pretty nice quality. So yeah, there you go. Here's another A's jersey I really like. This is the black alternate they wore in the early 2000s. It's a custom one with my last name on it and it's a cool base. Um, I bought this a couple years ago. They had this as a turn back the clock jersey and that's when I got it. Um, I believe that was a couple years ago. So really cool. I like this one and uh, athletics in white on the black jersey. So yeah. Next, another alternate A's jersey, one that I wore uh, when I was a younger kid as well. This is just the alternate with Kurt Suzuki, the A's catcher uh, on the back. I like this one, it's pretty cool um, and uh, pretty simple. This is actually the last one. This is another Kurt Suzuki A's jersey, pretty simple. Uh, the yellow sleeves are cool and Kurt Suzuki on the back. Don't really wear this anymore because he's not you know, been on the team for a long time. But yeah, that's it for A's jerseys. Now we will get into Raiders. So next we have the Raiders, of course, obviously not much variety with Raiders jerseys. So I'm kind of just going to show the different players I have. So first, this is a Color Rush Marshawn Lynch jersey. Um, Marshawn Lynch, one of my favorite Raiders, even though he was more known as a Seahawk. But I love the Color Rush jersey. Um, really, really cool. I like it. I wear this one pretty often. And uh, yeah, there you go. Next, we have a Mitchell and Ness uh, Jim Plunkett jersey. Of course, Plunkett was a two-time Super Bowl champ for the Raiders. I love this one, um, you know, respect the guy. And uh, really cool jersey, not much to say because it's basically the same as the last one, but there you go. This is literally the exact same thing, but it's Bo Jackson, so Bo Jackson jersey. Next, this is one of my favorite players as a kid. This is a Darren McFadden number 20 jersey. I have a number of these, so you'll see these 
uh, pop up. But Darren McFadden running back for the Raiders back in like the mid 2010s. And uh, yeah, next, this is a more recent jersey. This is the away jersey of Hunter Renfro, um, one of my favorite receivers on the team. Love the guy. He's great. And uh, maybe another Pro Bowl season coming. So Hunter Renfro jersey. Next, we have the away white jersey for Derek Carr, obviously our quarterback. Uh, love the guy. You know, he's been a Raider for a while, and I like this jersey. This is a uh, pretty nice one. So, yeah, Raiders white jersey, Derek Carr. Next, I still have the tags on this one because, like, after I bought this, he got traded. But Marcus Mariota, backup quarterback for the Raiders for a couple years. Um, I like the guy, and, you know, I've always kind of liked him when he's been in the NFL. So when he joined the Raiders, it was sort of just an excuse to get his jersey. Uh, he never really played much for us, but Marcus Mariota, white jersey, pretty cool. Next, I actually have two of the exact same one. This is a Darren McFadden black jersey from when I was a kid. Um, as you can see, this is like the Target brand jersey. So pretty cool. And I remember wearing this a lot a long time ago. Next, this is the same style as the previous one. This is a Derek Carr, like Target brand jersey from when I was a kid. I think I got this the year he got drafted in 2014. So yeah, pretty cool. Derek Carr jersey from a while ago. Next, this is another jersey from when I was a kid. This one says Oakland on it, which I like Oakland Raiders. It's like a jersey style, uh, no player, but yeah, pretty cool. I like this one. And uh, yeah, next, this is a custom jersey I got from some guy on eBay. This is like the Raiders blackout edition jersey, uh, 60th anniversary patch, so 2019. Derek Carr, of course, our quarterback. And it's a custom one. You're not going to find this on Fanatics, but I got this from a guy on eBay. So pretty cool. Next, I have another Mitchell and Ness jersey. This is Jack Tatum, number 32. Of course, this guy was pretty notorious in the 70s for being a kind of a dirty player, but pretty cool jersey, still kind of a legend. Jack Tatum jersey, number 32. Next, this is a jersey I customized myself. This is 60, 60th anniversary patch, Oakland forever. I got this when the Raiders left Oakland to sort of just remember it forever. And the Raiders don't have Oakland on their jerseys anyways. Uh, the only thing I don't totally like is it's kind of a long name. So like sometimes it like overlaps, but overall this jersey's pretty nostalgic and it's a jersey it's timeless as well. Next, this is actually another Jim Plunkett jersey. I have it in black as well. Uh, Mitchell and NS as well. And uh, yeah, Plunkett 16, you know the drill, pretty cool. Next, this is my newest Raiders jersey. This is a Devontae Adams jersey. You know, obviously we're all very excited to have him on our team. Nike, black one. I got the black one because that's my favorite Raiders style. And, uh, you know, let's go Devontae. This is a very vintage jersey. This is a number 12 Ken Stabler jersey. Obviously Super Bowl champion for the Raiders. Led them to the Super Bowl during the 1976 season. Absolute legend and uh, love this jersey. Vintage for sure. All right, so this next one is interesting. This is a Jerry Rice Raiders jersey. Obviously, he was on our Super Bowl team, even though we didn't win the Super Bowl, we went to the Super Bowl in the early 2000s, and he was one of our great receivers with uh, Tim Brown. And yeah, Raiders jersey, obviously he's known as a Niners player, but you know he was a Raider at one point too, and he liked being a Raider. So Jerry Rice, best receiver of all time. So I'm really embarrassed to still have this, but this is a Henry Ruggs jersey. Obviously, we all know what happened. I regret buying this 100%. I bought it, you know, the week he got drafted uh, as sort of a tradition I had of buying the Raiders first round draft pick. We all know what happened with Henry Ruggs. I swear to you, I never wear this, but I still have it. And it's, I guess, sort of a collector's item, but Henry Ruggs, not a good guy. And yeah. Next, I actually got this in his rookie season. This is a Josh Jacobs NFL 160th anniversary jersey. I like this one. This is one of my most worn jerseys uh, because I've had it since he was a rookie. And obviously, Josh Jacobs, a fan favorite running back. And uh, let's hope he has a good season. So yeah, there you go. Here is a jersey of defensive menace, Howie Long. Uh, LA Raider mostly and uh, yeah really cool jersey I like this one it's always cool to have the Hall of Famers so LA Raiders jersey Howie Long next this is a Marshawn Lynch uh, black jersey obviously I have the color rush one and I also had uh, the black one I got this during his tenure with the Raiders I believe I got it in 2017 and pretty cool jersey um, I like it a lot even though it's not on them anymore next this is yet another Darren McFadden jersey I was when I tell you I was obsessed with the guy I was obsessed with him he was our running back and I believe I have four McFadden jerseys. And so here's the fourth one, it's just the black jersey, but pretty cool. Next, this might've been my first Raiders jersey I've ever gotten. This is a jersey of Rich Gannon, Reebok jersey from when I was a kid. And obviously he won MVP, took us to the Super Bowl and really respectable quarterback. I liked him back in the day. And so, yeah, there you go. Next, Fanatic started selling gray Raiders jerseys. So this is a Max Crosby gray Raiders jersey. I got it pretty recently. Crosby's a great defender, and so, yeah, like it a lot. It's the only gray one I have. 
I believe this is the last one. This is a Raiders baseball jersey. And you have the Raiders logo patch on the sides and uh, it says Raiders football, but it's a baseball jersey. So yeah, I like the trim. There you go, pretty cool. So that's gonna do it for Raiders jerseys. Now we're gonna move on to Warriors jerseys. And uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so we're on to Warriors jerseys. Warriors have a very big variety of jerseys, different than the Raiders, of course. And so let's get into the autographed one first. Um, so this is a Curry signed jersey. He actually signed it while I was wearing it on my back. And uh, there you go, pretty cool signature. I got it out of game. And then a Draymond Green signed jersey. Also got this one signed in Sacramento. And uh, he was walking down the tunnel and got it there. These are two of my favorite jerseys for an obvious reason. The Bay and Oakland, you know, two iconic jerseys too. So yeah, really cool. And uh, yeah, there you go. All right, so next I have this Warriors jersey that debuted in the 2019-20 season. Not my favorite one. I'm not a huge fan of the San Francisco jerseys. Stephen Curry um, recently got this one because I wanted to get it in my collection, but San Francisco across it, it has gold numbers with red trim and blue. So pretty cool. I like that. So fair warning, most of these are going to be Stephen Curry jerseys because that's just the bulk of my collection. This is a 2021 NBA All-Star. Still have the tag on it, actually, because I haven't worn it much. This is Stephen Curry. Obviously, you know, this is the All-Star game that no one could go to, but it's pretty cool. You have 2021 All-Star at the bottom and Curry, um, you know, sort of supposed to be like the Indiana Pacers style. It says All-Star Jordan brand jersey and then Curry on the back. So one of the few All-Star jerseys I have, but I'll show the other ones just all on the way. All right, so this is a fairly recent acquisition. This is this year's NBA All-Star Game jersey and Curry won MVP of it. So it was a good uh, investment for me. All-Star, you know, a lot of people criticize this jersey, but I actually like it. It's Jordan brand, as you can see with the diamond up there and then Kia uh, sponsor, All-Star and then Curry on the back. NBA 75 logo at the top. I really like this one. It's nice, it's clean and there you go. Next, this is the final All-Star jersey I have for the Warriors. Um, this is actually a Andrew Wiggins one. The only issue with this is it's red, so it doesn't go with much, but it's pretty cool. It's unique, pretty similar structure to the other one, but it's red. And um, on the back, you have Wiggins 22, you know, his first all-star appearance. So I thought it was special and an NBA champ now. So yeah, there you go. Andrew Wiggins, all-star jersey from 2022. Next, this is a jersey from 2019. This is a Kevin Durant uh, throwback jersey. Obviously, KD is not on the team anymore, but he's still, you know, a favorite by many. He helped us win two championships. And so Kevin Durant, this is a jersey they wore in 2019, um, which was the year they lost the finals. But I like it. It's a throwback style and I like it. All right. So when Stephen Curry broke the all-time three-point record, they sold these at Chase Center for a brief time. Uh, this is a Curry, uh, what looks like a normal Curry jersey on the front. Um, and then on the back, you have the number of three-pointers was the record, 2,974. So on the base, you know, base level, it's a pretty, you know, simple uh, Curry jersey, but it also has the NBA 75 logo in diamond and I like it. It's really cool. It's simple on the front, but kind of cool on the back and unique. Next, this is an Andrew Wiggins City Edition jersey, uh, NBA 75, and then of course the front. I really like it. You got the lightning bolts there. Andrew Wiggins, like I said, an NBA champ and one of my favorite players from this past season. I still have the tag on it because I got it recently at Chase Center, but I like that a lot. Nice jersey. Next, this is a jersey the Warriors exclusively worn uh, in the 2021 season. This is the the city alternate that they had as a classic edition jersey. And it's Stephen Curry, of course, at the cable car. Not one of my favorites, but I still like it and had to get it in my collection because they wore it on the court. So yeah, NBA uh, classic edition, Steph Curry, the city. Next, I have another throwback edition jersey. This is uh, really cool. It says Golden State on the front, Nike. And then on the back, you have Rick Barry, obviously one of the best Warriors of all time, um, you know, won the 1975 NBA Finals for the Warriors single-handedly. And so Golden State on the front. And I really like this one. It's a Nike classic edition. And uh, they don't, I don't think they sell those anymore. So really cool. Next, this is a really unique jersey. This is a Slam Magazine jersey cover, uh, magazine like cover on the jersey. And it has Latrell Sprewell and Tim Hardaway, I believe. And so it's really cool. The backcourt of the Warriors, that was really good. I'll hold it up so you can see. Um, you know, it's very loud and something like that definitely draws attention, which I like. Like it's something that is really cool to wear out in public. And then on the back, you have the Warriors jersey, the vintage one in a big. But yeah, Hardaway and Sprewell, you know, the really good backcourt for the Warriors. Um, and so, yeah, there you go. So this is a pretty vintage one. This is a Jason Richardson Warriors, the city jersey. Uh, I like this. I actually got it recently, even though it's pretty old. You can see the signs of wear on it. It's a Nike jersey and on the back cable car, Richardson. This was a throwback for the Warriors um, in the early 2000s. And so I really like that. Next, this is a Mitchell and Ness Warriors uh, button up baseball style jersey. I really like this one. Um, it's really cool, as you can see, really nice. I actually got this recently on eBay. 
Um, but I, you know, this one's been out for quite some time. So yeah, there you go. Really cool 90s script Warriors throwback. So this kind of proves to you that I'm not a Warriors bandwagoner. This is my first Warriors jersey, I believe. It's just the W logo with a lightning bolt. Uh, very small, not planning on wearing this anytime soon. But yeah, Warriors vintage, you know, little pullover jersey that I had when I was a kid. So here's yet another city edition one from this year. Um, this one I didn't get with the Rakuten patch because it was cheaper. This is a Nike Curry city edition jersey of the Diamond 75th anniversary and Curry 30. I like this one a lot and we won a championship wearing this along the way. So pretty cool jersey and yeah, there you go. So the autographed Curry jersey I showed earlier is literally the exact same as this, but this one's not autographed. I just had to get a replacement so I could actually wear it because this is my favorite Warriors jersey of all time. The Oakland one city edition from last year. Um, and I like it Curry 30 and really nice. You know, I love this one. It's awesome. It has the We Believe era colors. So I went to LA a couple years ago and I went to the Bape store. Bape is like this like hype brand and they did a collaboration with NBA. And so here's the Warriors one. It's pretty cool. I don't wear it much, but you know, I kind of just have it for keepsake. And you know, it's pretty cool. It's like the We Believe era. You got the ape, you know, it's supposed to be like a hype type of thing. All right, so this is one Mitchell and Ness sold on their website. This was like the big face collection. It's like Warriors that spans all the way from the bottom to the top. And uh, I like it, you know, I don't wear it too much, but it's kind of loud. And they sold it on Mitchell and Ness, like I want to say two or three years ago. So it's pretty cool and I like it. All right, so what I have here is a Stephen Curry Adidas We Believe era jersey. This is actually an earlier Warriors jersey I got in my collection. I want to say I got this in like 2016, uh, but it's pretty cool. You know, he wore this his rookie season. And so Curry on the back with a lightning bolt up there. And I like it, you know, it's something that is vintage and nice. So there you go. So this one's my biggest regret buying as a Warriors fan. D'Angelo Russell jersey, a guy that, you know, I had higher expectations for than, you know, what came eventually. And D'Angelo Russell, you know, never wear this one. I think I wore it twice ever. He got traded like at the midseason point and we got Andrew Wiggins out of him. So I can kind of laugh about it now, but yeah, not the best jersey to buy. All right, so what I have here is an Adidas Kevin Durant jersey. This is just the classic away jersey. Kevin Durant, you know, say what you want to say about him, but he did bring us two championships and I love KD for that. So yeah, Adidas KD classic Warriors jersey, Adidas. Next, this is the classic edition Warriors jersey from a few years ago. This is a Clay Thompson one. I really like this one, sort of like, you know, the accents of yellow on the blue and white. And they wore this at home a couple times and I believe it was 2018. So pretty cool classic edition, Clay Thompson, one of my favorite Warriors ever. So yeah, there you go. Next, this is the Warriors jersey I got from this year. This is number nine, Andre Iguodala, finals MVP in 2015. And uh, Iguodala, one of my favorite Warriors ever. He's a mentor to the younger players and he's been on the Warriors a couple different times now and everyone likes him. Iguodala is just one of those guys you gotta respect. So really cool jersey and I like it. Next, this is the Warriors Classic Origins Edition jersey from this year. This is the Clay Thompson one. I got Clay because he returned this year from injury. The Origins Edition, like I said, it was only given to three teams and those three teams were the Knicks, Celtics, and Warriors, the three teams celebrating their 75th anniversaries. Really like this one. It was sort of iconic this year with the Warriors, you know, playoff run and how good they were. So synonymous with the good play on the court this year. I really like it and uh, yeah, looks cool. All right, so this is another Warriors jersey in the style of a baseball jersey. This is a yellow one. Of course, you have the Warriors logo and then 46 on the back because that was the year the Warriors were established, 1946. So pretty cool and I like it. All right, so I believe this jersey is from the first year that Nike made NBA jerseys. This is the Bay, Clay Thompson. Uh, I love this one because, you know, it's the Chinese New Year jersey, uh, which I like the red accents of and the colorway, you know, and you have the Rakuten old patch before they change it to like the script. And I like it, Clay Thompson. You know, really cool. Next, I have the Warriors home jersey. This is Draymond Green. You know, obviously another one of my favorite Warriors. And, uh, you know, our home jersey, pretty classic Nike. And this was after the Warriors rebrand from when they moved to Chase. And, uh, you know, pretty cool. Just a Nike classic home jersey. This is one of my favorite Warriors jerseys of all time. This is the Warriors earned edition jersey from a couple years ago. Uh, it's the town in yellow. Uh, obviously the town jersey was mostly in the gray style, but you have this, of course it's Steph Curry. And uh, you know, I like it. It's a simple jersey, but it gets the job done. And yeah, I like it a lot. Next, this is essentially the same thing, you know, in principles before, but this is the gray, the town jersey, the one that was more famous. And I got this in 2018. The Warriors made the finals that year. So I got the finals patch on it. Steph Curry, you know, number 30, the town gray jersey. 
Next, this is the same thing as before, but this is a blank jersey and this is Fanatics branded. Fanatics jerseys aren't quite as good as Nike, but they're still pretty cool. And it's like printed on, uh, it's blank on the back. You don't usually see blank NBA jerseys, but I got this at a sale. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. The town, one of my favorite Warriors jerseys and for a reason, pays nod to Oakland and it's a really nice jersey style. All right, so this is the Warriors like third alternate jersey. Um, this one they wear pretty regularly. I got this the first season it was introduced. So hence the Nike logo instead of the Jordan logo. The Bay, you know, there's been different styles with the Bay on it. Uh, Rakuten and then of course Steph Curry on the back. But yeah, I got this the year they brought this out because I thought it was really cool. And I like this sort of gradient pattern. So really cool and uh, yeah. Next, I have a jersey of Warriors legend, Chris Mullen. Um, obviously, this is a champion branded jersey, so it's vintage. Chris Mullen on the back, one of my favorite Warriors ever. I actually met the guy a couple uh, last year. And so, you know, pretty cool. Kind of wish I was wearing this. I could have gotten it signed. But yeah, I love, you know, Chris Mullen, 90s player, very respectable. And uh, yeah, there you go. Next, this is a Mitchell and Ness sort of pullover, sort of baseball style jersey of the We Believe era. I really like this Warriors jersey because I like the lightning bolts on the side, sort of emphasizes that lightning era. And, uh, you know, they got the mascot there, Thunder. And I like this one a lot. I wear it and it's vintage and it's cool. And it's Mitchell and S. I got this one last year and I don't regret it. So yeah. Next, I have a jersey from when I was a kid. Also, I believe I got this in 2014. Don't wear this anymore, but it's an Adidas, just classic Curry away jersey. Next, this is like a Target brand jersey. Also, uh, Golden State Warriors, Kevin Durant jersey. I think I got this the year he joined, but you know, it's cool for nostalgia and it's simple. Next, this is literally the exact same thing as the yellow baseball jersey I showed, but it's blue, 46 for 1946, the year they were established. And yeah, literally the exact same thing, just blue. So in their final regular season game at Oracle Arena, the Warriors introduced these jerseys, the Nike white, we believe jerseys. And I really like them. Uh, you know, obviously it's iconic, Steph Curry. And you know, it was only one for one game. So it's sort of hard to get these, but I did end up getting it. And uh, final regular season game at Oracle Arena a couple years ago. So I got this following the Warriors 2015 title seven years ago now. It seems weird uh, that it was that long ago, but this is a Steph Curry Adidas jersey, uh, of course, with the 2015 champs logo on it. Next, this is just another jersey from when I was a kid. Uh, white, you know, Adidas Steph Curry jersey. Nothing too special about it. Home jersey. So this is the last one, but definitely not least. This is a Warriors warm-up jersey from 40 years ago. And you can tell because this year was the 75th anniversary of the NBA. This is a 35th anniversary patch. Warriors shooting shirt. I've never worn this publicly because I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. It was very expensive. And uh, yeah, it says 1980 to 81 Warriors. Very cool Warriors down there. You know, some you know, legendary players wore this. And uh, that's gonna do it for Warriors jerseys. Next, we have the San Jose Sharks. I'll also include the Oakland Seals in that. And um, you know, that's the final team. And then I'll have miscellaneous jerseys to show. All right, so moving on, we have the San Jose Sharks jerseys. I don't have as many of these ones as I do other teams. This is my first San Jose Sharks jersey I ever had as a kid. I got this probably circa 2014. Uh, this was the third jersey. I kind of like this and sort of wish they had this logo still on a crest, but yeah, it's a blank, no player, but it's a Reebok, you know, sort of just simple. And uh, I like it, it's cool, but unfortunately it doesn't fit me anymore. Next, this is the current third jersey alternate of the San Jose Sharks. My personal favorite jersey, the stealth one. Uh, the Sharks, unfortunately, don't win many games in this jersey, but this is a, a jersey of Captain Logan Couture. As you can see, Adidas, Logan Couture, you know, obviously one of my favorite Sharks. And uh, I like it. You know, it's a jersey I wear frequently to games, and I like the patch as well. So, yeah, there you go. Logan Couture stealth edition jersey. All right, so in 2019, the all-star game for the NHL was held in San Jose, the Sharks uh, SAP Center. And so this is jersey of Brent Burns, obviously one of our representatives. Very cool black jersey. Um, this is from, made from like recycled material as well. And also um, one thing is they didn't, you know, on the retail version of this jersey, they didn't have um, the patch from it. So I actually bought the patch separately and I'm gonna have to get that sewed on some way or another. But yeah, here's the, you know, monochromatic Sharks jersey. It's different and I like it, so yeah. All right, so this technically isn't the Sharks, but it's very similar. This is the Sharks minor league AHL affiliate, the San Jose Barracuda. We're recently gonna be new, uh, moving to a new arena this year. And I like it, you have SJ, I got this last year. And Sharks patch, it's blank on the back. And I like that logo a lot, really cool. Here's a Sharks 90s style black, uh, you know, jersey with the old logo and then cool striping. I really like that a lot. And you know, you got the old Finn logo on the side as well. Here's a Sharks home jersey of former player and legend, Joe Thornton. Got this, you know, a couple years ago. <clears throat> I like the inside uh, neckline. You have this is Sharks territory alternate captain patch too, and uh, I like the crest. Very nice jersey. I mean, this is one of the best jerseys in the NHL, I think. 
and none other than legend Joe Thornton. This is literally the exact same thing as before, but Patrick Marlowe instead of Joe Thornton. So yeah, just another teal home jersey. So here's another Reebok Sharks jersey. This is the throwback one from 2016. And I know it's 2016 because I have the 2016 Stanley Cup final patch. Unfortunately, we lost that finals. And uh, the 25th anniversary patch of the Sharks. Got those put on myself. And on the back, Logan Couture. He wasn't the captain at the time, but he was a very good young player. And uh, on the front, of course, you have, you know, it's the same uh, throwback one that they use for the 30th anniversary, but it's, you know, obviously a Reebok. And yeah, really cool. I like the crest and everything. And it's a little big, but I still like it. So yeah. Next, this is my personal favorite Sharks jersey in my collection. This is a 30th anniversary throwback, 30th anniversary patch up there. You have that. And then of course on the back, Patrick Marlowe, this ended up being his last season and the season he broke the all-time NHL games played record. So yeah, this is my favorite and I love this style. There you go. Literally the exact same thing, just a different uh, color. And then I have Joe Thornton on the back of this one. So yeah, this is the Sharks official away jersey on the back. I have yet another one of Brent Burns. Um, got this a couple years ago. Brent Burns, one of my favorite players. And I also like this shoulder patch with the SJ in the shark. So really cool. This is a white version of the throwback. Striping's the same and everything. It's just white. And uh, yeah, no player on the back. This is a stadium giveaway. This is a Sharks uh, Warriors collaboration jersey. And uh, yeah, there you see the Warriors patch. And then, you know, pretty cool Sharks in Warriors colors. Here are two other stadium giveaway uh, jerseys for the Sharks. This one's the mascot SJ Sharky, and there's a cool design here on the sleeve. And then this next one is the Hockey Fights Cancer um, Awareness jersey. So the purple, and that's pretty cool as well. So yeah. And the final Sharks jersey I have is the official reverse retro jersey. Um, I really like this one. As you can see, you have the SJS up here, um, and then you have Patrick Marlowe on the back. That's the player I decided to get. Um, put on there and uh, yeah I love this jersey maybe it'll come back someday and it's really cool so yeah that's it for the Sharks jerseys now I'm going to show the few Oakland Seals jerseys I have so here is a Kelly Green Oakland Seals jersey the O for Oakland and then you have the seal with the cool blue striping that's present on the sleeves and the jersey so really cool this is a vintage hockey CCM jersey so this one's a little bit of a different era it's a darker shade of green this is a Seals jersey um, sort of like in the A's colorway, and it's cool. I like the striping. I like the, you know, script across the front. I'll probably wear this more often because it's cool. And uh, yeah, there you go. All right, so that's it. Finally, through all of the A's, Raiders, Warriors, and Sharks jerseys. Now I'm going to go into kind of miscellaneous jerseys. These teams are maybe teams I don't support. Like just a disclaimer, just because I have jerseys of a certain team doesn't mean I'm a fan of them. I just maybe gotten them along the way. Um, for example, I have a lot of Rams jerseys. You'll see that. I'm not a fan of them, but I just kind of have a lot. Uh, based on you know my life and what I've decided to get so yeah these are miscellaneous and I'll also include the Oakland Roots jerseys and the San Jose Earthquakes so yeah let's get into it all right so this is a Team Israel national team baseball jersey you have the flag there I really like this one um, and maybe I'll get the white one in the future but I really like the script across there and uh, it's not majestic I believe it's majestic but it's not like the same as the MLB ones it's a little bit different so yeah there you go Here's a LA Dodgers youth. This is from when I was a little kid. LA Dodgers jersey, Clayton Kershaw. Not sure why I got it, but I got it a long time ago. And um, I've had it ever since. I've kept it. Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw, majestic jersey. It's a youth size. And yeah, here's a Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers jersey. It's also like a youth small size. And I think I got this because he went to Cal and I naturally got it. Aaron Rodgers, you know, what you'd expect for the Packers jerseys. This is a Gardner Minshew um, Jacksonville Jaguars jersey. It was my Halloween costume a couple of years ago. So me and a couple of friends were, you know, specific players. And uh, yeah, cool. You know, it's a team I don't like, but it's a cool jersey nonetheless. All right, so this is a Los Angeles Rams Cooper Cup jersey. Um, this is before they changed to the current style. And I know Cooper Cup wears number 10 now, but he wore number 18 back in the day. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. LA Rams color rush Todd Gurley jersey. Yeah, we all know what happened to Todd Gurley. It's unfortunate. He was one of the best running backs in the league, but yep, there it is. All right, literally the same thing, but Jared Goff, obviously a Cal product. And this jersey kind of looks like Cal's yellow jersey. So I kind of like that. And uh, yeah, pretty cool jersey. All right, this is a Kurt Warner St. Louis Rams uh, way jersey. This is the jersey the Rams wore and Kurt Warner won, uh, wore when they won the Super Bowl back in 2000. I like this one. It's vintage. Um, you know, I kind of just like it because Kurt Warner, he's a cool guy and, you know, he's Hall of Famer. So, yeah, there you go. All right, this is literally the exact same thing, but this is a custom one with the last name on the back. Another St. Louis Rams legend, Marshall Falk, number 28. Obviously a great running back for St. Louis. This one's a little bit weathered, but it's a pretty cool jersey. Don't really wear it at all, but pretty cool. 
This has got to be the most obscure jersey in my collection. This is an LA Rams Joe Namath jersey. Obviously, he was a legend on the New York Jets, but Joe Namath, like, pretty much, he didn't, you know, he, like, finished his career on the Rams for, like, one season, I think. And so, Joe Namath, you know, super, like, pretty cool jersey here. I don't think he did much on the Rams because his career was pretty much over, but pretty cool jersey of a legend. I actually got this the year he got drafted in 2016. This is another Jared Goff jersey of that cool colorway. It was also the Rams' first year in LA, back in LA. And I mean, if you couldn't tell already, I'm a pretty big Jared Goff fan. So yeah, there you go. This is the same exact thing, but with a custom last name on the back. This is an Aaron Donald Super Bowl 53 patch jersey. Uh, I like this one a lot. And uh, this is the Super Bowl the Rams lost against the Patriots, but pretty cool jersey nonetheless. This is an Eric Dickerson Los Angeles Rams jersey. Pretty cool. I believe this was the Rams 40th anniversary patch. And uh, you have Dickerson, who is one of the best running backs ever. This is another Rams jersey, although it was never worn by the Rams. It was a fashion jersey made by Fanatics. It's another Jared Goff one. I just wanted something different, and I got it a couple years ago. Here's a Rams baseball jersey. It says Rams on the back. Here's another funny one. This is a St. Louis Rams uh, Sam Bradford jersey. Obviously a draft bust, but yeah, there you go. This is a Jared Goff Detroit Lions jersey. Yep, followed him to Detroit too. And last but definitely not least for the Jared Goff jerseys, this is a game-worn autographed Jared Goff California Golden Bears jersey. So Cal Golden Bears, game-worn Goff jersey. All right, moving on to miscellaneous basketball jerseys. Warning, I do have a lot of Lakers jerseys for some reason. I'm not a Lakers fan. This is a LeBron James uh, Lakers jersey, the black one. I got this like right when he signed with them. I don't know why I got it, but I did and still have it. This is a Lakers Kobe Bryant jersey. I actually got this before he died and then uh, he unfortunately passed away. So yeah. I got this on the same occasion as I did the Warriors one, the Bape jersey. I got this in LA at the store and I got the Lakers one because I thought it might have some resale value and maybe it does, but I just have kept it over time. This is a Washington Wizards City Edition jersey for Denny Avdia, a player from Israel, and I got this last season. This is like a 2013 era, maybe before that, uh, Portland Trail Blazers jersey, and the player is Patty Mills. He went to St. Mary's College uh, NCAA basketball, so I got this. And uh, Blazers, he was only on them for a brief time, and now he's on the Nets, but yeah, pretty cool. This is a Detroit Pistons jersey. Um, the name on the back is an inside joke, so you won't get it, but... As you can see, Motor City, it's like the uh, alternate they had a couple years ago. And then it says uh, McDaddy on the back. That's an inside joke, like I said. All right, so this is a Portland Trailblazers Damian Lillard jersey. Uh, this is one of their anniversary seasons from a couple years ago, and they had this cool jersey. Um, and Damian Lillard's from Oakland, and he's an Oakland High alum, so he's one of my favorite players. As I mentioned before, Damian Lillard went to Oakland High, uh, Oakland High Wildcats. And so this is his uh, high school jersey, worn number one in, in high school. And um, I really like this. It goes well with some other hats I have. And it's cool to represent him when he was in high school. And he's an NBA All-Star now. So yeah, really cool. Fanatics branded Milwaukee Bucks Matthew Della Vadova jersey. This was a cool one to get on Fanatics. Um, it, if you're wondering why it's, I got a Matthew Della Vadova jersey and I actually have more, is because he went to St. Mary's College as well and uh, NCAA basketball. So there you go. Same player, uh, this time Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, number eight, Matthew Delvedova. He played for the Cavs and won a finals with them before he went to Milwaukee. So yeah, there you go, pretty cool. Here's yet another Matthew Delvedova jersey. This one is one of my favorite Cavaliers jerseys. Um, and I met Matthew Delvedova at a St. Mary's game and he signed this. This was after he changed his number to 18. Unfortunately, he's not in the NBA anymore. He's in, I think the Australian Basketball League, but still a great player nonetheless. Here's my last Matthew Delavidova jersey. This is actually his college jersey. He wore number four in college and it is autographed as well. I met him and he signed two jerseys for me. So as you can see, pretty big Matthew Delavidova fan myself. Next, I have a Sacramento Kings DeMontis Sabonis jersey. I actually got this at a Kings game because uh, I just wanted it and it looked cool. DeMontis Sabonis, obviously he joined them this year in a trade. Um, pretty big trade and uh, he's pretty good. So I like him. I've liked him ever since he was on the Pacers. And as you can see, it says Sacramento Proud down here. Got to show the Kings some love sometime, you know? Here's another Sacramento Kings jersey. This one's a vintage one, though. This is a Jason Williams jersey. Uh, he was a very good passer and all-star in the 90s. And uh, got to show the Kings some love, right? I mean, they need it. And uh, I like this jersey a lot. I like the 5-5. And it's a cool jersey. It's a throwback. This was the Sacramento Kings uh, Classic Edition jersey from like four years ago, I think. And uh, I got a deer and Fox one. You know, he's a great player. And I hope he can find some, some more success in Sacramento. So yeah, it's a cool one. It's a throwback, red and blue. Not the traditional purple and black Kings colors you normally see. So I like that. I know this guy was a draft bust, but this is another Sacramento Kings jersey. This is Marvin Bagley the third. Obviously, the Sacramento Kings passed up on Luka Doncic to take him. 
and uh you know obviously a big mistake he's not even on the kings anymore but it's a cool looking jersey this is my last sacramento kings jersey this is the city edition one from 2019 2020 and it has deer and fox on the back i don't love this jersey but i kind of like the colors a little bit so yeah next i have this anaheim mighty ducks jersey um this was you know obviously i kind of got this because of the movie and it's a pretty cool iconic jersey i like the teal and you know the kings the ducks are our rivals but they're a cool team so yeah i like the logo it's pretty nice all right, so this is a LA Kings Wayne Gretzky jersey, obviously the best hockey player of all time. Uh, it also has uh, the Stanley Comp Centennial patch on it, which is cool. Um, honestly, not a Kings fan, obviously, but one of my favorite hockey jerseys in my collection. It's clean and it's the Raiders color. So Wayne Gretzky 99, the great one. Moving on, we have another all-time great hockey player. This is Maurice Richard, captain of the Montreal Canadiens during some of their cup runs. Uh, number nine, Rocket Richard. He's one of the greatest ever. Um, you know, there's a award named after him. He is just amazing. Rocket Richard and uh, vintage Canadiens jersey. Here's an Arizona Coyotes jersey. Although the Coyotes kind of suck, I really like this jersey. This was given to me as a gift. Um, Coyotes patch on the side there. I've actually been to a Coyotes game and maybe next time I go, I will wear this, uh, but pretty cool. Yeah, I like the Kachina. Closing in on some of the final jerseys. This is the only San Jose Earthquakes jersey I own. It was like their away jersey a couple years ago. Got Quakes, here's the sponsor, and then blank back MLS patch on the side too. And these are the final two jerseys I have. This is uh, both of the Oakland Roots jerseys from this year. You have Oakland Roots on the back. One is the A's colors, one is Raiders colors, coincidentally. So really cool. Got these recently and yeah, that's all the jerseys now. That's gonna do it guys. I have over a hundred jerseys and I honestly haven't pulled all of them out in a really long time. So I'm glad I got to do this. Let me know your favorite jersey I have, any questions you have about the jerseys or you know, just anything. Um, it was fun to make this and yeah. So anyways guys, I'll see you guys later and yeah, peace out.